Have you ever seen or heard a professional musician playing a musical instrument? Perhaps you're a musician yourself. Either way, you should be familiar with how effortless they make it seem. Now this is possible because the musician has a high feeling of control or sense of agency over their hands as they play. But what would happen if they lack sense of agency? How would they play that instrument or perform even simple activities like chopping up vegetables in the kitchen without feeling in control of their own hands? For some people, this experience of lacking sense of agency is a part of their reality. People without normal limb function, such as those who have had to undergo amputation, often use a robotic limb to perform daily activities. And these are advanced devices, but they're often left unused because they're very difficult to control. If we can measure a sense of agency, we could address this lack of control and lead to a better connection between a person and the robotic limb in the future. I aim to study sense of agency using something called intentional binding. Now, intentional binding is like your brain's internal clock. Much like the musician uses a metronome to keep time, the brain uses sensory information to keep time. And it does this by gathering sensory events through sight, sounds, and touch, and grouping them into specific moments. When we act voluntarily, our brain clumps this information closer together in time because everything happened as it expected it to. But when we act involuntarily, think of when you trip or you knock over a glass of water, the brain will spread the sensory information out because it wants to address everything that happened and figure out where it went wrong. Because of this, our voluntary actions can seem faster than involuntary actions in our heads and we don't even realize this is happening. I'm going to study this illusion and use it to measure sense of agency by asking participants to control a robotic limb and complete both voluntary and involuntary actions. Then I'm going to measure how long they think it took to complete both of those actions. I believe that the participants will experience a higher sense of agency and a shorter action time in the voluntary condition than in the involuntary condition. If I can measure this time illusion that is intentional binding, I can say that I've measured sense of agency. And this is important because if we can address sense of agency, we can lead to a better sense of control for people who use robotic limbs on a daily basis. These individuals deserve to experience a high level of independence. Therefore, it is essential to determine the level of control they need for daily activities, whether that be chopping up vegetables, reaching for a glass of water, or perhaps even someday playing a musical instrument. Thank you.